Hello and welcome to a Reston tutorial. Today I'm bringing you a vending machine. Let me just quickly show you how it works. Okay, so um, you know, you mine all the diamonds, and you hide diamonds. Then, as you can see, if we want to buy some logs, and click on log, we've been we dodging. Want to pay three diamonds for five logs? We can click it. Oh, okay. Click it once. So one diamond going in. We got one log. Two. But that has gone work. in there, and we haven't got an item yet. So we can, you know, we got our diamonds back. You won't eat any diamonds. Uh, let's just put a whole lot of diamonds in there. So let's say. We want. So basically, what you do is, you put diamond in first. You click this button the times you want to purchase the items. Uh, not breaking it apparently. And you click on the items. So like that. Like we want some of those. We want some of this. We also want some of those. Oh. Okay. No enough payment there. So we need more payment, but we only get the first items. Is draining out. If the items already in there, we put some items payment. in here, and you put diamonds in there or anything else you, as you customize over here. So you customize what you want to sell, but this thing is capable of selling any one time, any one item for any one currency. So one to one ratio selling. And it is incredibly simple for it what it does. So that's it. By the way, you can find a schematic to both that design and this design in the description, as well as this world safe. So you can download it and check them out. But let's let's see how it works. So when you put in a diamond, it goes through this item filter. This you know you've seen this before a thousand times, and it gone down here. Which is a uh, diamond storage. I did not put a chest like there. One is because I want to save space. Another thing is, if you're selling things for diamond, how long is it going to take until you got five full stacks of diamonds? So yeah, now that's a thing. Uh, and when that item gone through there and it's current type. Let's just see that in action. Uh, if we just steal some diamond, notice start rest on. You see flash. Uh, when flash when every time a diamond drops in, this RS knowledge will send item down there, and that is number of items you can purchase basically. And when you purchase the item, you drop down here. Then one item will go back up there. Cool, right? So that is basically how it works. And I'll show you the spam proof system. So let's say someone click on those buttons for the whole of times and they have left. They didn't purchase those items. It does not matter because the next time anybody uses the same system. They will get one of those items. We had this one, which is a fully enclosed design, and item frames goes on that side. And this one's selling potions, by the way. Say so I want to get that potion, and okay, it does not like me to purchase. Why? There's no diamond in there. Okay, we can't cheat the system. So I'll get, a, I'll get a potion, I'll drink it. And hopefully we go invisible. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, anyway, so that's that design. And we also have this. This just to show you. This thing is infinitely expandable. So yeah. We shall jump into the tutorial then. So anyway, you get these things on your hotbar. Go ahead and do that. So first thing first, you need to put down the overflow or the spam proof chest I hop up pointing into it 
a temporary block there, a chest on top of that, and a hopper pointing into that. So this is the chest you get your items, and that is the spam proof. Now, you want to place a temporary block again. One dropper, two dropper, three dropper. You can obviously place as many as you like, but we'll just place three for now. Uh, so I'll break that one. And now you want to place down a block here. Like that. A torch on top. And another block there. And a torch on there. Okay. Right. You want to scaffold up here. Then point a hopper into it. Bit like that. Right. And you want to come down. You want to go up here. And pull it up from there. You want to build some sort of wall there. I hope a point into there. So it's like that one point somewhere. I suggest that side. So if you need it, you can put a chest there later on to collect the diamonds. But that one does not face down. You can face it anyway. Not down. That one. Right. So we go up there. We place a comparator. We place that. And we place that. I place that. That. Don't worry. I'll show you. So that's an O. Okay. Got it? Right. A repeater inside that O, pointing that way towards the torch, right? Okay. Um, and then to get up here, two pieces of redstone, just, just following the comparator. Cool. And then you check the design again. So, hang on. Um, so, then you want to do a dropper facing up. Some temporary blocks. You want to dig a hole for yourself. So you can place a downward facing dropper. 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 So you can check on the right hand side. There. You can see that one is facing down, that one is facing up. So basically they're facing to each other. And you remove that. And you place another block here. A piece of redstone. Another block, a comparator, replace this grass or whatever your ground is by uh, a stone break or something. Basically, you won't break it if you dig in down there. And that comparator in there. So now, I'm going to load some items. Um, so you can put in something like a half a stack so basically the item number in there will determine the maximum purchase you can do at a time so you know what to put how many to put in there right okay so this thing is pretty much done believe it or not it's so simple uh we need shit again so uh we haven't got enough blocks okay so you basically you want to build up a chamber around this thing. And there's another thing. Uh you place a block there. A dropper here. No, not facing that way. You want to place a dropper facing that way, the back end. And a hopper facing into that dropper. So when you I haven't shown you what happened if you do, don't insert a currency specified. Oh, by the way, you need to set up the filter. So let's cheat. Let's say we probably want diamonds as your currency, right? So you pick that. You take some items. Be careful. 
you can rename these items if you want to. Otherwise, people can use stone bricks to purchase, technically, and they'll break your systems. But if you don't, like, that is not a not issue on your end, then it's fine. Then placing a stack of diamond there. Well, it is actually 18. So it's between 21, 20, 19, 18. So it stopped there. Um, remember to reset that if you did something like that. So make sure the bottom dropper is empty whenever the system is ready for a new purchase. Well, when the system is running, you don't need to do that, but when is the first time you need to. Anyway, you can, you can, you can, you know, build this out of anything. And that is not in a correct place. And I mean creative to use a pickaxe, which is quite funny. So you want to build up a chamber like that. Some glass in the front. You can technically not use glass here, but uh, I think it looks quite cool. And some button. It doesn't matter which button you use, so you cannot place the button there. You know why? That will power that. And when that's powered, the diamond won't come down and it basically goes back into the dropper. So you put item either there or there. You can choose. Or you can even put it there. I don't know. So you cannot put it there, there, or there, or there, or there, or here. No. So you put it there, or here. Right. Uh, and bottoms on this side. So that, that will control the dropper. So let's see, we sell diamond for diamond. So we put in one diamond. We click the button. Diamond disappear. Click this. And that hopper did not update itself when the power state changes. But it works every time after you just replace that hopper and the chest after the whole build. I don't know what that's about. So anyway, uh, that's the tutorial completed. Hope you have enjoyed the first tutorial on this channel. And if you're excited to see more, make sure to leave a comment to let me know. And share this with your friends if they wanted to build the same thing. And leave your complaints or suggestions or things like that down in the comment as well. And I would like to thank you very much to watch this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.